Hi everyone, I'm with the Mexico team at the Data Science for Social Good. And over the course of the summer, we've been working with the Office of the President in Mexico to help them find strategies that they can use to implement in Mexico to reduce maternal mortality. And so, as some of you may know, in year 2000, Mexico, along with several other states, got out at the UN headquarters to adopt the Millennium Development Goals. And one of those Millennium Development Goals is to reduce by at least 75% the number of maternal deaths in each state from 1990 to 2015. And so the blue line you're looking at is the trajectory for Mexico. And so from 1990, they've been able to reduce their maternal mortality ratio from 89 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births to around 42 where it is right now by implementing several different programs. And so that's been a tremendous amount of uh, decline that they've experienced in Mexico. But the actual target that they are supposed to reach for 2015 by the Millennium Development Goal is 23. And so that's the focus of our project, to help them identify key policies and different strategies that they can implement in Mexico to able to reduce maternal mortality. So how did we go about solving the problem? We got a, a variety of different kinds of data. We got census information, which contains several different sociodemographic uh, factors on the municipality level. We were able to get all births and death records data over a period of 10 years. We we're also able to get patient records and hospital information down to the municipality and locality level. So with all those different data sets that we had, we were able to aggregate them on the municipality level and develop predictive models that explain the maternal mortality rate on a municipality level. And so with this predictive model, we can tease out different factors that affect maternal mortality. And so looking at those different factors now, two of the major factors we were able to identify are health care and poverty. And at the, in at the interaction between these two factors, we were able to identify three key areas that the Mexican government can look at to be able to bring down maternal mortality. Those three areas are prenatal care, accessibility and cesarean section. In terms of prenatal care, one of the things we were able to find was that uh, there's, there are certain mothers that have seguro popular insurance, which is a particular type of insurance in Mexico. And we were able to notice that from our analysis, some of these mothers were not taking advantage of prenatal care as much as they should have. And so one particular policy that it could pursue would be to sort of develop a program that incentivizes mothers on seguro popular to sort of take advantage of prenatal care. In addition to that, we also noticed something around accessibility, which is in terms of the, the distance of hospitals, in a, the, uh, the average distance of hospitals to a, in a particular municipality. And we're able to identify that when, a, when if, you, if mothers have to travel more than 20 kilometers to the nearest hospitals, those regions tend to have higher maternal mortality rates. And so from our analysis, we're, we've been able to recommend these three different areas to the Mexican government where they can develop actionable policies to be able to help bring down maternal mortality in Mexico. And we'd love to talk to you more about these different factors and other details of our project, so please find us at our desk there. Thank you.